star in our solar system, the sun. Its temperature is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So why is space so bloody cold? Over to the narrator. Hi, I'm the sun, but you can call me Colin. Okay, Colin, don't milk it. Colin is a star, yes, an actual star, or should I say more of a diva? We have turned his mic off, for like most stars, he can prattle on a bit about himself. Colin provides all of our daylight and natural heating however. Colin is quite far away from us around 150 million kilometers to be precise. It's so far away that Colin's star quality or his light, something that can cover 300,000 kilometers in a single second, takes 8 minutes to reach us. Even over that massive distance temperatures can get so high during scorching summer days that it feels like the sun is sitting right on top of us. Now think about this if only one star, one that is millions of kilometers away from us can heat up our planets so fast and so comprehensively. Interestingly when you look up at the night sky, you can see around 5,000 stars with the naked eye. Space telescopes can see billions of stars out there in space. So, if there are so many stars out there, it seems fair to assume that space is a really hot place, right? It's not factually correct to say that space is cold nor is it fair to say that space is hot, because a perfect vacuum has no temperature at all, as such, space doesn't have a temperature of its own. It's generally said that space is cold. But space is not cold in and of itself, rather the things in space are cold. And why do things become cold in space? Over to Minx. The answer is heat transfer. Heat transfer is the process by which heat flows from one object or system to another, due to temperature differences between the two. There are three main ways by which heat transfer occurs. Conduction, convection and radiation. Heat energy is conducted from the hot end of an object to the cold end. A common example of conduction is the process of heating a pan on a stove. The heat from the burner transfers directly to the surface of the pan. Temperature is a measure of the amount of kinetic energy processed by the particles in a sample of matter. The water inside a container becomes hot when you only apply heat to the bottom of that container, which is a classic example of convection. We all experience the scorching heat of the sun when we step out of the house on a hot summer day. Why is that? Radiation. Now the interesting thing about radiation is that it doesn't require any kind of contact between the heat source and the object. Unlike conduction and convection. Both of which require matter to transfer heat. Everything in space unless they are very close to a heat source, like Colin, becomes cold because it constantly loses heat due to radiation. Over to the narrator for a visual demonstration. Meet one of our resident crash test zombies, Steve. Steve. Put some pants on. That's better. Say hi Steve. <laughs> Okay, let's drop Steve in space, preferably in our solar system. 
and if we plop Steve close to Colin. Hi, I'm the son, but you can call me Colin. Ah. Behave yourself, Colin. We know who you are. Just a moment. Incoming! The radiation from Colin heats up Steve. Can anyone smell fried zombie? <clears throat> if you pull Steve away from Colin, then Steve becomes cold, constantly losing heat due to radiation. <clears throat> Back over to Minx for more cold questions. If our sun is 93 million miles away, and things in space constantly lose heat due to radiation, then, why does our planet stay warm? Over to the narrator. Earth remains warm because of its atmosphere, which acts like a blanket that traps the heat from the sun and keeps the planet warm. The moon's temperature conditions will be vastly different from what you would experience on Earth. Here on the moon, you would experience huge temperature fluctuations, depending on whether it's daytime or nighttime. Simply because, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere like the one on Earth. As mentioned, the loss of heat due to radiation is the primary cause for things getting cold in space. Which is why it's generally said, that space is cold, despite being nothing. Empty space does contain atoms, albeit a very very small amount of them, far away from stars and planets, deep space is filled with a very thin gas that does have a temperature. One, that is very low. Back over to Minx. Hey, if you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and give the people over at Bratz HQ some ideas for further science questions in the comments below.